Uh, I was about to record, but the only car in the garage is locked and I can't go get mine, so. Uh. But you know what, we're feeling good. We're feeling good, so I'ma wait and I'ma be back to y'all later. Keep that morale high. Um, get up and do something in the meantime. Like really, get the fuck up right now, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm sitting on a bunch of water bottles. Um, even if it's just getting up, sometimes it's hard to do that. Like, so don't don't let anybody tell you that's not something to be proud of yourself for. Granted, there's other shit to do. Like, we, we got a lot of shit to do, nigga, but, you know, ain't nothing wrong with celebrating the small stuff, you feel me? All right, I'll be RB. Well, it's been three days. I'm a little fucked up, but we got back up. You feel me? So return to the Nidosphere. Now, if you don't know the plot of this episode, it's in the title. Bitch. They're like, what? But okay, on a serious note, because I know I've been rambling for a minute, but there really wasn't anything to go off in the DVD commentary for this one. And then what we did get wasn't too serious. For example, so everybody in the commentary started off with this ASMR bit. And right when Rebecca Sugar was saying something about we were counting the bananas, they ended the bit and was like, okay, this is too much. But then she never picked up back on what she was saying. So I'm like, why, why were they counting the bananas? We got an interesting detail about Hunson Abadir's name. That was my younger brother. He named our car Hunson Abadir, and I thought it'd be funny. So that was cool. And then moving on, I've never noticed this, but in regard to this scene, this was supposed to be his ears, but the animators treated it like it was his arms. And nobody caught it, so it just made it into the episode. But the crazy thing is, I've noticed the movement was weird, but I thought he was like a little demon and just that that he was squeezing in by standing on people's shoulders. I, I don't know, and just waving his little arms. So I don't know if that was obvious or not. When somebody asked, <laughs> How did Finn and Jake survive without water? The commentary blanked out and they typically censor it if like the jokes get too adult or if they say something copyright related or that they can't reveal. And when it came back in, I thought they were just using a code word to signify that. But then they said, that's pineapple, pineapple juice, pee pee juice. So, <laughs> good God. Anyway, so about Jake saying this, I'm not gonna pronounce it. Okay. It was stated, it's something Jesse's mom used to tell little Jesse, like, hey, you're good, you can do it. But yeah, so that was it. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you watching. Links to the social media and the Discord in the comment section and description below. Let me know how your day is going if you feel the need to. Good, bad, happy, or sad, I do read it. I love you. Take care of yourself. Learn to love yourself, most importantly. It's hard, but we gotta try, because I don't know. It, it took 21 years, but I'm finally tired of living like this, so let's fuck and let's do something, bro. I don't know. Anyway, um, uh, I don't know. I just be feeling like I got nobody at times. So I'm, I'm trying to work on just being my own homie. You feel me? Like I already was my own homie, but like I wasn't checking in with myself like that. Like I wasn't really tapping in. I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't know if that's all my bases covered. I just love you. Stay safe. Don't go to the Nidal Sphere, I guess. Or at least stay safe while you do it. I'm about. Peace out. Bye. Ow, fuck.